Boom! What is going on guys? Sean Boyle with Momentum360. Like always, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT the right way to create dedicated, effective, targeted sales scripts for your sales team. Let's get started. What's going on guys? If you haven't yet, stop, go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe and click that little bell too so you get notifications whenever we post a new video. You will be the first person to know. Thank you so much for the support, and now the video you've been wanting to watch. All right, all right. What is going on, guys? Hope everyone is doing fantastic today. Uh, so in this video, I'm really going to be showing you how to create effective sales scripts for your sales team, because a lot of people are using ChatGPT and they're using it in such a way that isn't really effective. The script kind of sounds like a robot, not like a human, and it's not getting them good results. A lot of people are like, oh, well, we should use AI, but they don't know how to properly use AI for what they're looking to do. So I'll just preface this by saying Momentum right now, we have a sales team of about 10, 15 people all across the country, whether it's real estate agents or small businesses, and pretty much everything in between. Those are, I would say, the, the two main niches that we target. And it's important because if you have a sales team who's specifically doing outbound cold calls, they're setting a demo, and then they're going on those demos and closing, it's very important to have a certain cadence and tonality and just a sheer understanding of what you're doing. Because if you don't have that, if you have a very lackadaisical general knowledge and general understanding of the product, the script, and who you're trying to target, it's not going to work because you're not going to sound confident doing it and people are going to really just see right through you when you call and it's going to be a big waste of time. All right. So this is how you can create a sales script on chat GPT. So what I like to do is, and I'll go back here in a second. Um, I just want to get chat GPT to this really quickly. Um, let's see here. One second. Not sure what happened with my camera, but that's okay. So what I would do with Momentum 360, obviously you guys know we do virtual tours and photography for businesses, right? But if we're targeting a real estate agent in this case, who we are looking to do listing photography for, if I'm looking to create a sales script, a call, a cold call script for that, I would want to take the tonality and kind of the sheer, um, like the cadences of one of the best salespeople in the world. And in terms of cold calling, I think that one of the best cold callers, whether you love him or hate him, is Jordan Belford, because just his style of talking is very entertaining. And especially on a cold call, it's very captivating. It holds your attention. And for what you're looking to do, um, I mean, it gets you exactly what you need. And I think it's a very uh, compelling uh, tone. So that being said, if I was to write a script, a lot of people write a script like this. They would say, write me a sales script for cold calling real estate agents to do their photography. We're going to have to reload the screen again, right? Okay. Let me do a new chat and see if that works. Nope. Okay. Let me just try this again. Okay, so this is what a lot of people normally do, all right? Very generic, very basic. It's just spewing words. It's, it's just literally doing word vomit. And a lot of people follow this and think, oh, this is the script I need to use to set demos and to um, close deals. And it, it's not, again, like this is okay, but do you wanna be average at cold calling or do you wanna be great? Because if you wanna be great, this is exactly what I would recommend. So I'm gonna stop generating this. Um, you can see right here, you can pause the video and kind of walk through this. I wouldn't recommend doing this. Here's what I'd recommend doing. Again, you need to be very specific with what you're doing. So what I do, and I actually posted a reel about this today, I would say if I'm looking to target luxury real estate agents in a specific city with the tonality and verbiage of, let's just say, a Jordan Belfort to set demos, how would I go about doing that? I would say, write me a cold call script targeting 
luxury realtors in Philadelphia who sell condos, who sell luxury condos with the tonality and style of Jordan. So I'm very specific here to set a meeting with luxury realtors in Philadelphia who sell luxury condos with the tonality and style of Jordan Belford. Let's see if it comes up. Oh, all right. <laughs> Nothing came up. That's funny. Uh, let me just restart this. This might be one of these things. Yeah. All right. All right. So now it's going to take some time. Here's a cold call strip to send me with a tonality and style of Jordan Belford. And now it's going to literally type in realtor and you. So it's quite literally going to say like A and B script. The A is realtor and the B is you, right? This is a very real conversation. So it's not like we did previously. One big word vomit of you talking because that's not how the world works. It's the realtor talking and you talking and having a conversation. So everything's going well. And here you go. This is pretty much. Yeah. And then it says, we're going to be confident. We all know this stuff. I'm going to stop generating it. But now I'll take it a step farther. What if the agent isn't interested? What if the agent isn't interested? How do I overcome objections to set a meeting? And you literally put that into chat GPT and it's going to spew out. If the luxury realtor you're speaking to isn't interested in the pitch initially, here are a few tips to overcome objections, to persuade them to set a meeting with you. And here you go. So here are some objection handling tactics you can use. And then once it stops generating, what I would recommend is how would Jordan Belford say this on the call to overcome objections to set the meeting with the luxury realtor? Because again, you have to understand, it's not like Google right, where you're searching things and it's not kind of like stringing along. Somewhat it is, but... It's not as sophisticated as chat GPT. So you're having a conversation with open AI with chat GPT. So these things are stringing along and it's understanding. So oh, hold on one second. Ah, I think we hit our limit, but you would then say, how would Jordan Belford say this on a call to overcome objections? And it would spew out how Jordan Belford like here would overcome to, to set a demo. So this is really important guys, because I think a lot of people nowadays they're simply not doing this. They're, they're really, you know, um, how shall I say? They're trying to get ahead too fast without putting in the work. And they just think that chat GPT is going to spew out everything they need. And that's just not the case yet, just yet. So you need to be very specific and tailor it with what you're doing as well to make one refined script. So guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, please comment below. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, I do these videos every single week. Looking forward to really just crushing uh, sales, marketing, content with you. If you're a business in need that you need content, you can obviously DM me and uh, call our line. It's 215-607-6482. That's 215-607-6482. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.